The problem is in uh, the God of Islam. This is shocking and uh, unfortunately this is the reality uh, about this God. He is a God of torture. He is a God, uh, the deceit God. He, this is what he talks about himself. You are going to make millions, millions upon millions of Muslims very, very angry. I'm not trying to offend uh, Muslims. I love them. Those Muslims are my family. But you are going to offend people and you are going to put your life in danger, aren't you, by doing this? Some of them will be offended. Some of them will be offended. But I am sure, I believe, that many of them will walk up. Some of them will try to kill you. They will. They will. If they will kill me, they will kill this body. But the question, what about my soul? What about my ideas? What about my beliefs that I shared with everybody? Will they be able to kill this? I don't think so. These comments are coming from a man who is not just any Palestinian, but the son of Sheikh Hassan Youssef, one of the founders of Hamas. Mosab Hassan is also a young man who himself, until just a few years ago, was president of the Islamic youth movement. And his denunciations of Islam are harsh and startling. Every Muslim who read the Quran, if they allow themselves to listen to this Quran and believe in the same time that this is from God, I think they are sick and they need help. I believe that Islam is, is collapsing already. Because it's collapsing? It, yeah, it is collapsing. It looks from the outside, it's growing, but from the inside, it's completely collapsing. It's not uh, giving uh, answers to the people. It's not improving their lives. It's not helping them at all. Within 10 years, that's it. Islam is going to be over. Hamas started to get suspicious about everybody, about themselves, about their wives, about their children, about everybody. If they torture, you're not allowed to say anything. If they uh, kill people, you're not allowed to say anything. If Wait, they teach you, you something they, wrong... They torture and they kill people in the jail? They tortured and they killed people Their own the people? Their own people. Like put noodles. Uh, uh, under their uh, fingernails. They put needles, needles under the fingernails. Needles under their fingernails. Hamas, Hamas leaders, Hamas, Hamas, Hamas leaders that we see them on the TVs now, okay, and big leaders were responsible for torturing their own members. In studying the Quran, Mosab Hassan found what he calls thousands of inconsistencies. What Muslims, Muslim sheikhs, or religious people do that they focus on only one part of Islam. Which part do they focus on? The part that they need for that time. If it's a war zone, if it's war time, they're talking about jihad. They bring the verses that, so it's like very political religion. And this way, I discovered that the Islam is the most bipolar religion on earth, that you can find whatever you want. So the Quran contradicts itself? In so many ways. Within days of us broadcasting that interview, it spread across the internet like wildfire. Days after that, Al-Qaeda itself stepped up in the absence of Hamas making any comment, criticized Hamas for allowing him to get away from the organization, and then concluded their internet statement by quoting the words of the Prophet Muhammad, chilling words. They said, whoever changes his religion, kill him. That being a reference to the fact that Mosab Hassan not only has left Hamas, but has now turned his back on Islam and converted to Christianity. I love Jesus immediately. Why? Love your enemy. That was the one that moved me from like deep and changed my life forever. I've been suffering for a long time. It's like my medicine became, it's not a drug. It's not uh, given, it's not like Quran. Quran is a drug. The Quran is a drug, you say? Islam is a drug. To be honest with you, uh, being killed is not uh, the worst uh, thing can happen to me. But if my soul is dead, if I, I feel the responsibility and I don't uh, say a, a word of truth, I will die every day. The biggest terrorist is the God of the Quran. I know this is very dangerous. And I know this is, uh, uh, this will offend uh, many people, but my goal not to offend them. What I'm saying, that the biggest terrorist is Allah of the Quran, the God of the Quran, the God of Islam.
Since Yusuf's book was published, his father, Sheikh Hassan Yusuf, has publicly disowned his son. I uh, want to ask you, of course, to pray for me and pray for my family. They were under lots of pressure. The last time I talked to my dad, he told me, I, told, I asked him to disown me because I know how difficult this is for them. And he told me this is not an option. I know their hearts. They're good people. But unfortunately, their God doesn't have a minimum amount of humanity. He unskinned their humanity. He wants them to be beasts. Our problem is with their God. Our problem is with their ideology. Please don't understand the difference between Islam and Muslims. Please. Muslims are wonderful people. The worst criminal terrorist, Muslim, has moralities, responsibilities, logics than the God of the Quran. And uh, what I see that uh, governments uh, are hunting uh, the um, street drug dealers when they are trying to catch somebody like Bin Laden. How old Bin Laden is? 50 years, 60 years, and he, how long he's going to survive? For the next 15 years, we have a problem with a gangster has been for the last 1400 years and he will be there for the next 500 years if nobody will stop him. And our war is with him. My war is with him. My God's war is with him. If Jesus Christ was here now, right now, and you ask him a question, what do you think about the God of the Quran and the God of Islam? What his answer will be? But I'm telling you the problem is much bigger than Hamas. The problem is in uh, the God of Islam. This is shocking and uh, unfortunately this is the reality uh, about this God. He is a God of torture. He is a God, uh, the deceit God. He, this is what he talks about himself. Uh, Islam as a religion in general is a lie wrapped with some facts and truths. And I'm talking this uh, with the authority of somebody who understands exactly what Islam is all about. And uh, um, uh, it's uh, the biggest lie in history in my opinion. And uh, uh, this is the biggest uh, danger, that the quarter of population of Earth believe that this is a uh, religion but, from but God. I ha I have they to are wonderful people. Uh, you know, here in Canada, our, our Muslim population is, is the same as any other religion. So, you know, those are very this inflammatory words about... You I know you've converted to Christianity, but that's a pretty inflammatory. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. This is, this is a good uh, point, and uh, what I'm trying to tell you here, that your problem, my problem, the world's problem is not with Muslims, and Muslims, the majority of Muslims are great and wonderful people. They are my people, I know their pain, I know their sufferings, and I know their hearts. When you go to the Middle East, when you go to any uh, Muslim uh, community, you see their uh, 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 passion, you see their uh, uh, hospitality, and you get confused, even more confused. You say sometimes, mm -hmm. those Muslims are better than uh, uh, many Christians, and in, we are not in a position to compare people. We are comparing ideologies. And I'm telling you that the minimum Muslim, the most criminal Muslim uh, 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 or terrorist has a minimum of morality, responsibility, logics more than his God. If you read the Quran, if you allow yourself to understand what the Quran is all about, you're going to figure this out yourself. Go to the Quran, Surah 9, verse 5, and you will find what uh, the God of Quran is asking uh, Muslims to do against everybody. Now, it's not Muslims' fault that they were born in that culture. It's not their fault that they were born as Muslims. But what we're telling them, understand your religion before you, uh, be, uh, before you are uh, offended. Those are realities about their religion and they need to recognize that. Your, your father is the, the leader of Hamas in the West Bank. Didn't you feel that you are betraying, betraying your family, betraying his confidence, betraying the idea he dedicated his life to? How, do I, uh, how did I betray him? Uh, by uh, saving his life, for example, I'm not doing him a favor. This is my dad. I know I, I rather to die and he doesn't uh, get uh, hurt. I look like a traitor because I am doing what my people need, not what my people want. You decided at some point to leave Islam altogether and you converted to Christianity, right? Yes, I converted to Christianity. I am a Jesus Christ follower and uh, let me tell you something. I am not a pro-Israeli 
and I'm not very fascinated by uh, the work of the Israeli government of killing uh, Gaza children or assassinating uh, leaders and uh, uh, even terrorist leaders. It's very obvious that they're going to try and kill you till, till the rest of your days and still here you are in Israeli television without disguise, without fear and I ask myself whether this is courage or total lo uh, uh, craziness. Look, uh, you are afraid when you do something wrong. When you don't do something wrong, when you believe in what you're doing, you're not afraid. Masoub Yusuf, uh, in behalf of myself and many, many Israelis, thank you very much and thank you for this interview. Thank you. Mossab is well aware that by speaking out, he could effectively be signing his own death warrant. But he shows no fear. They gotta kill uh, my ideas first, which is like, that's it. They're already uh, out. So how are they gonna kill my idea? How are they gonna kill my opinions that I have? This thing that they can do, they can kill my body, but they can't kill my soul.